Well, right now, fears are swirling about a project that is closing this busy road. Today, Challenger Boulevard west of Winkler Avenue in Fort Myers closed for crews to start building a roundabout. And now we're hearing the concerns people have about the construction. Wing News reporter Olivia Jean joins us in studio. Olivia, how long could this project take? The city of Fort Myers says the project is expected to be done early next year. Some of the major improvements include sidewalks, more signage and pavement markings, better drainage, and of course, a two lane roundabout at the intersection of Challenger and Winkler. Do roundabouts help curb traffic? That's the question many ask. The city of Fort Myers says they do, and that is why a new one is going in at the intersection of Winkler Avenue and Challenger Boulevard. Here is the data the city provided. They say roundabouts improve safety and reduces traffic, but not everyone is excited about the project. My only concern with the roundabout is exactly the size of it, that it needs to be big enough to be effective. Luther Rognes lives right next to the intersection. He claims he has asked the city numerous times to lower the speed limit on the road. My biggest concern is how many people are going to get hit out here. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> before, you know, some of these changes get done. And with the number of crashes he has seen, he no longer walks on the road and feels that it is safer to do his workout walk staying within his apartment complex. Trying to cross the road down there is, is very dangerous because people don't obey the speed law, the existing speed laws. The roundabout would impact him every day. We'll definitely be using it every day. So he's paying close attention. I'm hoping that they're doing it right and designing it right and getting it, getting it done right because it is a very high traffic area especially with in the mornings and the afternoons. He wants to see two things. One, it needs to be big enough for trucks and the school buses who drop kids off at the elementary and middle school right next to the intersection. And two, it needs to be safe for anyone walking in the area. When visiting the construction site today, I couldn't help but notice the entire intersection is surrounded by residential areas and two schools. I saw a lot of people walking, including children. The entire project costs more than $3 million and is funded by the Florida Department of Transportation. Back to you.